Hello my friends, my name is Emmy Cake and welcome back to Heavy Rain. So we're back here. You but Ari. Is Ari? Alright? A R I? I don't know. So it was said before about having found a video. So we'll just have a look and look around. See well, what well. is offer. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Because, I mean, this is the one where we're going to have to kill a guy, and I'm really nervous about it. I mean, I don't really want to, but I think I have to. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? So that's one of the um, evidence. Couldn't just have the um Is that seventy five fifty? I don't know. Um could it just have like the tires of that car but not actually be that car? Just like to fall them or something. That's the origami shop thing. So these are all the things we already know about. This is about the flower. A flower of the orchid family, a funeral flower. Symbol of innocence, common species. All over the place. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Yeah. Shove it up, Malibu. The car Italy. was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Uh. So this is this Philip person, I think. Oh, um, Jackson. I thought I don't know. <laughs> Jackson Neville. AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Yeah. Oh, you're here now. Please go to find the killer straight away, because I don't want to go back to Ethan. Oh, you got a nose bleed. You're not taking anything there. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit, it's... It's coming. Hot. Cryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. What am I doing? What the hell are you doing, man? Dude, what's going on? Do I have to hold it or press it or what do I do? I'm going to press it. Yeah, I'm pressing it. Skin. Feeling 
to assist it. Drink alcohol instead. You're not taking any of that fame because it could kill you. Is that vodka? It better not be. Oh, wash your face. Okay. Come on, wash your face already, buddy. Can I wash your face? What are you doing, buddy? That's what you did before, you washed your face. better now though. I think it's better. Gil, that was intense. Oh we're here, thank god, we're not Ethan. Ah, uh, I just want to put off Ethan for as long as possible. Because it's horrible, just thinking I have to kill someone. And I have no idea how I'm going to do it or anything. And I'm nervous about it. Phew. Detox. We are at the Manfred's Antique. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Hmm. Let's see, it's like typewriters. Okay. There was one down here when I was. You can go down. There you go. Oh, go. That'll go down. Okay. Alright. No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. Not very good storekeeping, is it? No one in the store. Oh. Might be somebody in the back room. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Hmm. It's a nice place. That's a really nice wet clock. It's a clock. It's a really nice clock. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! <laughs> Took you a uh, while. Good Aww. to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh. At my age, time means nothing anymore. And you got clocks all around you. I I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. That's good. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? 
Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. <laughs> Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, okay. no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfreds. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. I just want to have a little look around. Manfred seems awesome. He's like a really nice guy. There's nothing in here? Nothing. What about behind the counter here? The door. To the toilet. Okay. Well, Kitten junk. to old friends. Hook? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. So we've got a magnifying glass. Cool. We're helping out this old dude. It's really nice. It's a nice chappy. I like this dude. Thanks. It's really cool. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. A royal five. Uh. Mm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Mm, produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. That means nothing it's a to royal me. Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Oh. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Damn it. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Wow. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Okay. I think the killer's been here. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. So pretty. Hello? 
Manfred. Hello? Your call is lost, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? What the hell? Hello? What happened to him? <gasps> oh my god. He's dead. Oh. How, how did that even happen? Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Scott? <gasps> oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be as scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? Who is a killer? We have to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. Okay. The police what we touched? <laughs> um. Handkerchief. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. Lon! Okay. What the hell? What am I meant to do? What am I doing? Okay, yes. For some reason I didn't do it when I first tapped it. Yeah, it's a phone. The escapes? I mean, escapes? The books? No? Okay. Let's see. We touched uh, handles. First sides. He turns his shoulder, but I don't see anything to do with that. He touched the phone, he touched the shot glass. Why is there X now? For God's sake! They're making it so complicated for no reason. Okay, we've got the telephone. Um, shot glasses. Can we give you much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. This. I don't think we've checked for actual glass. She touched. Nope, she touched that. And I think that's everything. Oh, and the front door. <laughs> okay. Leave. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. I think so. Well, we didn't like do it again when we went out the door today. I don't think I did it today. So, you claim the victim was Dang killed by you in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to <sighs> get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. Oh, we missed something, then. Oh, wow. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. 
P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? You should know better, Mr. Shelby. You were once a police officer. God damn it, we missed, messed it up. I don't know what we missed. What kind of it did we miss? Did I have to get one for glasses? Did I have to get for bottle? Well, well, Scott Shelby. <sighs> you in trouble again? Oh, it's you, wrong Blake. Time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Sorry about my internet problems. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Thanks Carter. Blake. Or Carter. You, want. you want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. Sure. He didn't sound convincing, does he? Ha 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 ha! Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. It's not a game. This isn't a game, Lauren. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Son is dead, Lauren. Getting yourself killed is not gonna bring him back to life. That is cool. Wow. Stop the, car. What? Stop the fucking car. Jeez. Whoa, girl. You mad bitch? Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. <laughs> she doesn't let up, with or without me. She's just standing there. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Do you have to? I don't really want to, but I think I have to. <sighs> Laura! I need to make a scene, Lauren. Oh, I'm controlling it. Cool. Hey, girl. I miss him. I miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. KOS, oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? That escalated quickly. Gee whiz. Whoa. And it's Ethan, oh great. But I'm gonna leave this video here of Heavy Rain. Cause I, I don't want, oh no, I got killed someone. I'm not happy about that at all. But I'm gonna leave this video here of Heavy Rain. I hope you enjoyed it. 
video, give me a like, a comment, subscribe, all of it. It's so great, appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Follow my social media, stand below, right there. And that's the first video of Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a cake task today. Bye bye. Come on, no, no, no! No, it's not it. It's not it. It's not it. Ah! Come on! We can't miss him now. Can't miss him now. Too much. Too much. Oh my what God. are you doing, Ethan? This is not good. You got a freaking gun. Oh God, no.